Craig Moore straight back into the team after his return from Crystal Palace. The rest is expected. Wallace and Johansson leading the attack. Commentator Peter Martin. I don't think anyone expects St Johnston to take anything from this match this evening, despite their home advantage. As referee Hugh Dallas gets involved in the play immediately, a free kick. Roddy Grant filed and a chance for St Johnston to build in the first attack. Well, I did mention that. St Johnston, the home side, not favoured this evening because Rangers have won all three of the previous Premier League meetings and, of course, that victory last year in the League Cup final. But the early pressure coming from St Johnston. And St Johnston have yet to score a goal against Rangers in the Premier League. And this is the perfect start for them to try and put some pressure on. There's Klaus getting caught out. Cleared away by Kinchelskis. Side, proving that they're up for this match. Certainly a great atmosphere inside McDermott Park. And Rangers very much on the back foot at the moment. Here's Neil McCann. Wallace looking for McCann again. He might go himself. Wallace using McCann. And a chance to stretch the Saints' defence. Some trickery by the Scotland International. There's Wallace. Great save by Alan Main. Wonderful save by Alan Main. Rod Wallace trying to add to his goal tally. Again, McCann showing some quick thinking, putting him into the box, and a good save by Alan Main. Well, that's going to be an interesting battle this evening. Captain Lorenzo Amoruso against Roddy Grant. And on the last two occasions, Roddy Grant has won his team a free kick. And Rangers have to defend again. And Stephen Kloss hasn't been too clever in the last two set pieces. A lot of movement. There's the head play, and it's a goal for St Johnston! Jeff Weir has given St Johnston the perfect start after 13 minutes. Well, I did mention that Stephen Kloss hasn't been too clever in set pieces, and nor have the Rangers defence in trying to defend this ball into the area. Jeff Weir with the head play, and Stephen Kloss nowhere near it. St Johnston have a crucial lead, a good header by Jim Weir. Kloss outstretched arms, it's not good enough, the ball's on the back of the net, and St Johnston have a one-goal lead. Roddy Grant playing that down, and a free kick in a dangerous area. There's a drive, the wall does its job, there's a shot again, it's a good ball, just past the post. Paul Kane on the rebound, and Stefan Kloss, he didn't know much about it. Kane, quick thinking, set himself up once again, and that looked just have shaded past the post. Well, the wall did its job, but Kane's quick thinking readjusted his fitting. Kloss had to be quick across the goal. There's a chance now with Kanchelskis and Johansson in the middle, if he can find him, he can't. Andrei Kanchelskis acknowledges Jonathan Johansson. Sandy Clark side have only lost one of eight games at McDermott Park since going down 7-0 to Rangers. They certainly have found a bit of form in a vital stage of the season, but here's Georges Alberts trying to create something for Rangers. That ball could break to Jonathan Johansson. Dodds is there, gets it across, good save, Alan May. Jonathan Johansson did very well to try and get the cross into the danger area. Looked as if Darren Dodds was covering him. It was a nice ball by Alberts. Rather fortunate that Johansson got the break of the ball. Alan Main cutting out. Amoruso wins the tussle with Grant fairly and squarely. And again, it's St Johnston coming away with the ball. Here's Grant. Here's a chance for Roddy Grant and a goal! Could be 2 nothing. What a chance for Roddy Grant! Once again, he got away from Lorenzo Amoruso, and it needed a shot on target, but Kloss produced the save. That ball's through the rod, Wallace! Great save again by Maine, and the referee spotted an infringement. Oh, Rod Wallace wasn't to know that. He just played through, and there's no way he was offside. As that ball was played through, he was almost certainly onside, played by Gary Bolin, but the assistant referee had the flag up.
Chelskis slipping in past Gary Bolin. Dasovic covering. The ball's inside to Johansson. There's the chance. Made with the save. Lovely move by Rangers. Johansson cursing his luck. Kanchelskis slipping the ball past Bolin. Put the cross in early. Johansson draws it back. Tries to hit it with the left. Main stopping what looked a certain goal for Rangers. Great skill by Jonathan. Rangers once again, Neil McCann crossing it in, the head flick cleared away by Gary Bolin. Desperate defending by St Johnston. He can. Oh, and there's a chance there. And that'll be a free kick. But I'm not quite sure Dieran McInespy realised the full extent of his opportunity there. Difficult one at the best of times because Sergio Perini looked odds on to head that clear. It's a free kick to St Johnston. Yet another set piece. What can St Johnston create from this? Kloss looking anxiously. Back in Espy with the ball in. Up goes Dasovic, heads it down, nobody there. There's a chance against Sabio, it's in the net! Miguel Sabio has scored for St Johnston! Yet another set piece, and St Johnston are back in front by two goals to one! Roddy Grant pushed it back, Sabio gains it in for his fifth goal of the season, and Rangers are behind from a set piece once again. It's St Johnston 2. Lannis trying to clear it, he's going to be caught out, Samuel is one-on-one, Kachelskis against Samuel, and on the overlap, this is a chance for St Johnston to seal the victory, McInnes, he's got a chance, it's a goal for St Johnston, 3-1, game over, Kieran McInnes, Samuel looked up for support, McInnes coming through like a train, and the delivery was perfect, he adjusted his fitting, and slots it past Stephen Kloss. The three points are staying at McDermott Park. And now the gap between Celtic and Rangers is six points and the Premier League title is still alive. Great finish by McInnesby. Took his time, picked his spot. It's game over. I say to the players that all day I felt as if we were going to do well tonight. You just sometimes you get a gut feeling in football, and today I felt that. In our lives tonight, we were magnificent. They, they competed exceptionally well, which is what I asked them to do, and they played very good football, and I think they thoroughly deserved the three points. And there was no reason to lose the game. With all respect, uh, St. Johnson worked very, very hard, but they get four or five attacks and they score three goals. The way we give the goals away, that was very, very cheap. Were you angry at the, the result? Angry on the result, angry on the way we... Uh, defends the goals, because again, on this level, you have to defend on the other way. 